Okay, you have definitely been in this situation if you are the drummer at your church. Somebody comes up to you and says, hey, we are hosting a night of worship at my place. We would love for you to come by and just participate. And you, since you're the drummer, you're the nicest guy on the world, and you say, yeah, sure, definitely, I'll be there. And then they say, great, so then can you play the box for us? You know, the box, the one that's always in the back of the green room then nobody knows how long it's been there or where it even came from. <clears throat> this one. Today we're gonna talk about how to play the cajon in worship music. So the reality is that not a lot of musicians know how to play the cajon. And to be fair, who would know? I mean, this is just a weird instrument that kind of came out of nowhere for us here in America. And if you're not really born and raised around it, you really shouldn't have a clue on how to play this thing. So let's start with the basics. So the way that you need to think about the cajon is like a mini drum set. But this mini drum set only has a bass drum and a snare. That's it. I mean, obviously, as you dive in deeper on the instrument, you can learn how to produce more sound and get more out of it. But the reality is, all it has is a bass tone and a snare tone. So, let's dive in. The top part of the cajon, which is this part right here, that's the snare. And this bottom part of the cajon, that's the bass drum part. So, keeping that in mind, we can start creating different rhythms and replicating different rhythms that we would play on drum set on the cajon. So here's an example of a rhythm that's very commonly used to play worship music. So here's another example of a very popular rhythm in 6-8 played on drum set that you can replicate on the cajon. So the idea when playing the cajon is to create and maintain a rhythm in a worship setting. Now it may not seem like it, but this instrument can produce a lot of noise. Exhibit A. This little back part of it, this little porthole, <laughs> it does a lot of work when it comes to producing the sound. So here are some tips for you to start working on your cajon playing skills. Number one, listen to the music that you're gonna play and listen to the bass drum and snare part and try to replicate it. The cajon is just an easy way to replicate what a big drum set does in a worship setting, an acoustic setting, which is really nice because you don't wanna lug in a massive drum set for an acoustic setting at somebody's house. First of all, that's kinda awkward. And number two, where would you put it? The second tip that I can give you on how to make and play the cajon better on worship music is realizing the technique. All it really takes is just a little bit more effort of you moving your wrist. So if you're a drummer, you're used to moving your wrist like this. But when you're playing cajon, it's like this. So all you really have to do is sit down on the instrument at least maybe like 20 or 30 minutes and try to get a feel for it and start playing on that top part of the cajon. Number three, learn the patterns. 
It's very easy to play this instrument, especially if you sit down and learn how to play the patterns. So here are some patterns that you can learn with the notation. Number four, do not be afraid to explore with this instrument. This instrument is amazing. I mean, it was created and developed in Peru and the Spaniards took it and they started doing flamenco music and there's so many good things you can do with this instrument. There's so many beautiful sounds that this thing can produce and if you learn how to use it correctly, you can expand your worship experience in an acoustic setting at somebody's house and even at church. Number five, have fun with it. I know it is one of those instruments that you're like, you know, if I never ever ever have to touch this thing or play with this thing, I will be so happy. But the reality is, as a percussionist and as a musician, especially in church, you're probably at some point gonna have to play with this thing. So might as well learn how to do it right now and dive in and try the best that you can. So that's it for today's videos, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please don't be afraid to drop them down in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell for new videos coming out. And once again, thank you for being here. And don't forget to share the love and share the knowledge. Peace.